this is a kind of a quick tip. Uh, this is a practice that I've been doing for uh, a few years now, actually. Uh, I, uh, before I do a project or when I'm getting ready to work on the lathe, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll choose your tools, you know, you'll figure out at least in your head what, what tools you're going to use, you know, what it, processes are you going to do. You know, you might be doing a facing and turning cut. That's why, why I really like the uh, WNMG, the double purpose uh, tool there. You know, I might do a facing and turning. I might do a chamfer. I uh, might do a boring, right? So you got your tools all set up and you might do a parting. The best thing I find to do is what tool needs to be set up the most accurate with the tool post. Uh, if I don't need to be turning the tool post or uh, anything like that, which with all those tools I wouldn't need to be, what tool needs to be the most accurate? And in that case, it's the parting tool. I'll put the parting tool on when I set my tool post and align it. And it needs to be square with the work. Now, if I was doing going to be doing threading, I uh, I would maybe set it up to the threading tool, right? But since it needs to be the squarest, it's the parting tool. The other ones could be off a little bit in most cases, and it's not going to make a lick of difference. Um, and if you're doing an accurate tra chamfer, you might be uh, using your compound to do the chamfer, or but in this case, you know, whatever angle you have on your chamfer tool is the chamfer you're going to use. Uh, and in most cases, on this tool here, you can be off a few degrees either way. And it's not going to make a difference, uh, really, in your cutting. Uh, if you're square, though, you're boring. You want to have square so it doesn't, uh, you know, interfere. If you're too much angle, you know, you'll hit your hole or how deep you're going, so you want it to be square. So that if it's off a tiny, tiny bit, usually it's not going to make a lick of difference. Again, but in this case, it will be probably pretty square. So I always set, I usually set up to my parting tool because it really needs to be square. So I'll use a dial indicator on the tool itself. I won't use the tool post. I won't use the face of the tool post to set it up. Uh, if you don't have your tool perfectly square in your tool holder, or if your tool holder doesn't grab perfectly square, which they don't necessarily do on your tool post, uh, I, I always align with the tool itself. You know, and uh, it, it, this is really not a very fat, hard, fast, or this is really not a very slow process. You know, set your tool post a little bit snug get your knocker out and you know figure out which way here we're going here And uh, give it a few taps around. There, perfect. Snug it up. And that's within less than half a thousand. Yep, less than half a thousand. And we're ready to go. And then I don't have to worry about everything else being off. I can even drop my threading tool on there and it's gonna be okay. Uh, this is just uh, choose the most accurate tool you need and align it with that. That's what I'm kind of getting at there. And it's usually the parting tool. <laughs> so that's about it. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching.